Hi, it's Ed Oakley. You know, when we're in good economic times or perhaps recovering economic times, one of the greatest concerns should be to keep your best people. That's a huge issue for any manager, any leader. Now, I'd like to share how one company really doesn't have to worry about that very much at all. I saw an article recently online that talked about the container store. Now, if you've ever shopped there, you probably know how much fun it is and how great their customer service is. Their physical performance is also quite good. And during the recent recession, they have not laid off a single person out of their some 4,000 employees. While their industry, the retail industry it happens to be, literally lost over 1 million jobs. Now, obviously they are doing something right and it is something that's also different. Now, Stephen Covey, author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and some other uh, best-selling business books, said the deepest need of the human soul is to be appreciated, acknowledged, affirmed, and understood. Now, if that's the deepest need of a human being, do you think how much they are experiencing those things, the appreciation, the acknowledgement, the affirmation, and the understanding might have something to do with whether they stick around when the, uh, an economy returns or the economy becomes better and there, there are other job opportunities around? Well, I think it may have a big part to say in that. Now, back to the container store, Kip Tyndall, chairman and CEO of, of that enterprise, would say that creating and nurturing an employee-first culture is the most fun, productive, and profitable way to run a business. Now, I agree with that. Now, notice he didn't say, customer, patient, or client first. Happiness of their own employees is their highest priority. Now think about it. When, you, when are you most likely to provide your customers? Now those might be internal customers, the people that work for you, or external customers. But when are you likely to provide your best service? when you're being pushed to provide better service because that's what our focus is, is customer service, or when you personally feel that you are being served and appreciated, acknowledged, affirmed, and understood. I think it's pretty clear that we're most likely to provide better customer service when we're feeling served ourselves. When you have happy employees, there is no doubt you'll have happy patients, clients, or customers. And it really shows at the container store. So what can you do to maximize the likelihood that your best team members won't jump ship the first time a new opportunity comes along? I would suggest a three-step approach using the principles of enlightened leadership. So the first step relates to forward focus. I would suggest that you acknowledge your employees' contributions. You acknowledge their achievements. You acknowledge their teamwork, their attitudes. Whatever you catch them doing right before asking them to do more, better, or differently. Earn the right to ask them to do more. That's the first step. Now, the second step has to do with effective questions. I would suggest that you ask for their input. Ask them what you can do to support them. Ask them what they like about their jobs. Ask what would make their jobs more fulfilling. Ask them how economic client, climate or, or particular circumstances going on right now have affected their lives. Show a real interest in who they are, their families, and what they're all about. 
And by the way, notice I said show a real interest. You know, this is not a to-do. This is not a technique. This is about where we come from, coming from showing that interest. Find out what's on their mind. Show an interest in them as people. That's the second step. And the third step I would suggest is treat your employees like they're your most important customers. Guess what? They are. <laughs> when your team members feel appreciated, acknowledged, affirmed, and understood by you, they are likely to stay with you for a long time. Now, I want to remind you something. Many studies have shown that it is a, it is a statistical fact that the relationship with their supervisor is the factor that most determines whether a person stays in their job or leaves it. it is that supervisory relationship. That means you. <laughs> Make sure you are not the reason they leave. So guess what the container store did last Valentine's Day, even though they're already doing so many things that are oriented to serving their employees first. Well, they created a National Love Our Employees Day. I guess they called it National We Love Our Employees Day with lots of gifts and fun things for all 4,000 employees. Pretty impressive. Now I know you can't do that and this is not about needing to. The good news is you don't have to as long as your employees feel appreciated, acknowledged, affirmed, and understood. Thank you for watching today. Make it a great week and make it a great week for your team members.